Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out TXT's dance practice for their Mama 2021 performance. I believe this is just kind of like the intro or the dance break portion because it's only one minute and 42 seconds. I heard about the audio syncing issues on the actual live performance, which sucks for anybody because you spent time on it. There's a lot of eyeballs and you can be perceived as, you know, you don't know your timing, which has happened to me. For example, like when you would upload a choreography like cover for Instagram, because Instagram compresses the video file, sometimes the audio is not synced. So it looks like you're out of sync or out of timing or like slightly behind or, or delayed, that kind of thing. So I totally understand what TXT felt and what fans felt for this performance. The dance practice is definitely fixed. I'm glad that they uploaded that so that it can be corrected. If you guys are interested, I did react to all of Mama 2021's performances. Link is down below. Okay, let's go. Also, they look amazing on Mama. Hey. Yeah, the timing and the audio syncing is very important because of the sound, the sound effects for like, even just like, cause it's also very stripped back. Anything that isn't on time will not look good to put it simply. Right? Great isolation there, the control. Oh, this is much better. The camera work did it really, the camera work really downplayed the whole performance. I'm so sorry. To be honest with you, I was a little underwhelmed with the actual footage. And I'm sure you guys are too, because this is like, you can see the details a lot more and it's just a lot sharper here. So I totally understand the fan frustration. So actually, you know what? I'm just gonna watch the entire performance through before I dissect it, because it's only one minute and 42 seconds. Let's go from the very beginning. <laughs> Sorry. Slick. Ah, the full work. Look how sharp that was. Boom. Eight. Nice. Oh, that's risky with putting pressure on the knee. Pop off! He <sighs> slide. Who's a lover? Hey! Beautiful! Holy shit! And the long legs just like enhances this whole performance even more. Okay, wait, let's dissect a few things. First of all, that <laughs> the catching the jacket is very tricky because you can easily miss it, especially especially on a live stage. Because what if it's too dark? You can't see where this black jacket is. The lighting is crucial. Where's Michael Jackson this vibe actually? The music? Hey. That part, the knee, it's it's harder than you think. <laughs> Cause it's so fast and it's in and out. So it, that comes down to your coordination. The tendency for people who don't have a lot of coordination for their, for example, if you're a righty, it's so hard to control your lefty and vice versa. Strengthening your, you know, your less dominant leg or hand will help with that. So the tendency for people who are less coordinated or like less, you know, um, controlling of their less dominant hand uh, or, or legs is that um, that fast thing, it won't be as even. 
So being able to control both of your legs in the same speed, because it's fast, you know, if it's slow, it's a lot easier, but if it's fast, being able to control both legs in that space, in that timing, in that kind of rhythm, it's uh, it's very crucial for this part because it's the, the music is so, su it's stripped back. There's nowhere to hide. Every single move is on a beat. That part, right? Lots of pops. I like this hair on him. Okay, so that, um, you know, he's on the dancer, which is just as important. Like, look, it's a uh, he, he, good thing he actually doesn't really jump off it. He kind of just touches it on the actual run on the 100% like, er, uh, like earlier when I was just like watching. It looked like he jumped off him. I, I brought this up for the NCT one uh, for Kick It. Uh, that's always risky for the for the guy that is being jumped off of um, because it can easily damage the kneecap um, depending on how hard you jump off it but it, it looks cool sometimes safety becomes less important just to look cool this was amazing the transition to this Hey, also Subin being so tall and moving that agile is incredible. And, and I've been told that their pre-debut practices, like when they were just training, um, their stuff are a lot harder than when they debuted, you know, like the choreograph choreographies that they started doing for their comebacks. And I think that's why they're able to do these very, very fast and quick movements. And every movement needs to be precise. Because again, like I said, music is very stripped back. So if you miss a beat, it's very obvious. This is the... Woo! <laughs> so balletic. It's so pretty! Like with his proportions. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. This had like a lot of details to it. Boom, boom. Like, da da. Right? Every single beat is there. And that's high. That's a high kick. They don't miss a beat. Boom, right? Like that part, that's normally an easier part when slowed down, right? But when you put it in this pace and this rhythm, it becomes a lot more complicated. And not to mention their stamina for this whole choreography is insane. This needs a lot of energy, you need to keep up. Yeah, that was so much better than the show. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was incredibly frustrating to not be able to show it on the actual live performance. Um, they did what they could, but obviously, like this, the camera work is better here, and you lost a lot of detail for the performance. And this one is very detail oriented. This this choreography, you gotta see all the details for you to be able to appreciate this. And when the lighting is dark, when the camera work is wonky, um, when your audio is not sync it's not as good and like i mentioned this choreography is on every beat so that audio syncing issue is terrible because the whole impact and the whole point that makes this difficult is the fact that every single move is on a beat or on a on a sound effect i'm glad they put this out and i'm glad a lot of people watched it too 737,000 as of this viewing incredible well, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.